Hey everyone, this is Registered Dietitian Jason Hunter here and I wanted to give you a quick nutrition quickie today about some fatty foods that a lot of people avoid but they're actually healthy foods and foods you should be eating more of. Now, you can't go crazy on them, you can't be eating them all day long, but these, what I call healthy fatty foods, are actually foods that people tend to avoid but for the wrong reasons. Uh, we're going to go over 10 of them here, actually three are going to I'm going to discuss in this video here and the other seven you'll be able to read at the link in this post so that this video doesn't uh, ramble on and you don't have to listen to me ramble on. So let's go ahead and get started with the first three here so you can click the link and read the uh, remaining seven that you should be including into your healthy meal plans. First one is coconut oil or coconut milk. This one came out recently in some of the news channels saying, oh, you know, people are saying that it's healthy and it's actually really bad for you. But that's not the case. The reason they were saying that was because it does contain saturated fat. And they were trying to slant it as people are consuming cups and cups of coconut oil a day and it's causing health problems. But that's not, again, not the case. That's not the reality. When you substitute coconut oil instead of these other healthy or unhealthy oils like corn oils and you know vegetable oils and things like that you know that's where you're getting the health benefits from when used properly coconut oil is actually very good for you it contains MCT oil which is less likely to be stored as fat and more likely to be used in energy consumption and since we are primarily sugar burners because of the types of foods we eat adding more healthy fats into our diet will help us become what I will call fat burners and these fat burners actually are leaner people because they're not so dependent on sugar. Sugar is like a drug like people always talk about you need that fix and where your body becomes used to that and is always craving that sugar where it's not going to go to the fat stores on your body for energy it's just going to want more sugar. So converting your body over from a sugar burner to a fat burner is actually a very good thing. So eating a healthy fat like coconut oil in moderation substituting it in place of other unhealthy oils is actually really good for you. So you want to add that to your diet. The next one is whole eggs. And I know you've heard me talking about eggs before. This is a big one. You know, I've eaten well over 18,000 eggs in my adult life and my cholesterol is great. My blood markers look great. And it's because whole eggs are actually good for you. They contain a ton of vitamins and minerals, A, D, E, and K. They contain calcium, phosphorus, you know, vitamin B6, things like that. So, you know, adding that yolk is actually giving you those healthy fats, especially if it's a um, grass-fed, you know, raised chicken, right? And you're getting more omega-3s in there, you know, higher omega-3 content in your yolk. You're not getting that in just the whites. You have to consume the yolk to get those healthy omega-3 fats. So, Again, adding whole eggs into your meal plan is actually a really good thing, even though people consider this fatty food that you should avoid. Scientists finally come around saying that's not the case. You know, eating just three eggs a week was wrong in regards to what uh, the scientific community was telling us for all these years. The third one out of these 10 is dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is loaded with antioxidants. And it also contains something called theobromine, which may help to actually help lower blood pressure. So very beneficial for people that have borderline high blood pressure or are overweight and that blood pressure is creeping up. So add some dark chocolate into your diet, again, in moderation, just like any other food we eat, whether it's fatty food or not, everything has to be in proportion. So go ahead and indulge a little, have that sweet dark chocolate treat and know that you're actually getting some healthy benefits out of your getting antioxidants, you're getting theobromine, you're actually improving your health with that. So those are the three that I talked about here. There's seven more that we have at the link in this post that you can go, some of them you might be eating, some of them you might not be, but read the article in regards to why they're beneficial for you so that you know why you're consuming them. You're not just starting to add them but not really know why. So read the article in this post, uh, the link's in the video here or above this video, and it'll help explain not only why it's a healthy fatty food, but the benefits that you're gonna get out of it. So, hope you enjoy this nutrition quickie. Go ahead and read the article, click that link, and let me know what you think about the other seven healthy fatty foods, 
as well as if you include any of these into your current healthy meal plan. Have a good day.